information installed on the Ectus hard drive. The update CDs are produced every week and should be loaded as soon as they are received. This is cumulative, that is, the last CD contains all the corrections and, if any CD in between is missing, the charts can still be updated using the latest CD. If you received a new base CD-ROM, load it into Ectus and thereafter load updates from the latest update CD-ROM using the same procedure as described earlier for uploading the vector charts. Updating ARCS Charts Autoload The updates for ARCS Charts are delivered separately in an update CD-ROM. Now we will explain the updating procedure of ARCS Charts into the system automatically or manually. You can update all the charts that are covered in your license and the system will load them automatically. The step-by-step -step procedure for loading ARCS charts automatically via CD is Open the chart menu. Select Update charts from the menu and by permits from the sub-menu and Insert Update CD-ROM to drive and then click the load button. A loading progress indicator appears and the system will automatically update charts for which you have a permit. You can also define a group of charts to be updated into the system. Updating ARCS charts manually. The step-by-step -step procedure for updating ARCS charts manually via CD is Insert Update ARCS CD-ROM into Drive. Open the Chart menu. Select Update Charts command from the menu. And when the sub-menu appears, select Manual. Select Desired Chart from List box in the Chart Operations window. And click the Load Update button to load desired updates into the system. Manual Updates The chart corrections and other essential information for the area of the intended voyage are received as notices to mariners and Navtex warnings. You must know which of these are applied into the ECDIS charts and which of them need to be added. Navigational warnings have to be applied as manual updates. Manual update may include deleting an already existing object, modifying a position or other characteristics of an already existing object or inserting a new object. Since there is no separate record of manual updates on the equipment, a physical record of the same should be maintained to know which corrections are applied. This would also help in deleting when navigational warnings are cancelled. Do note that you cannot permanently remove any of the official objects from the chart display. The deleted features will still be visible. Keep in mind that manual updates have got no connection with automatic updates. It is recommended that you use orange symbols for manual updates as they are easy to insert and find. The visibility of the orange symbols from manual updates is controlled on the Mariner pages of the Symbol Display dialog box by selecting Standard Orange. The Manual Update Editor operates in sessions. Activate the Manual Update Planning dialog box displayed by choosing Manual Update from the chart menu followed by Planning from the sub-menu. You can freely delete
Chapter 3 Navigation Tools and Functions Chart Legend Vector Charts The chart legend provides various data about the chart currently displayed. It can be toggled on and off by placing the cursor in the sidebar, clicking the right mouse button, choosing Chart Legend from the menu, and then pushing the scroll wheel. The information contained in the chart legend for S57 chart is Cell Name Navigational Purpose This can be Overview, General, Coastal, Approach, Harbour and Birthing Issue Date of the Base Cell of the Chart Edition Number Number of Last Update Issue Date of Last Update Date to which the last update is effective. Projection of the chart. Horizontal datum. Vertical datum. Datum used for soundings. Quality of data. Magnetic variation. Unit of measurement for depth. And unit of measurement for height above sea level. Chart Legend Raster Charts The information contained in the chart legend for ARCS charts is Chart Number Country of Origin Date of the latest notice to mariners included in the chart Date when the chart was issued Issue date of update CD-ROM used to update the system Datum shift between local datum and WGS84 datum. Unit of measurement for depth and unit of measurement for height above sea level. Pick report. The ability to cursor select an object to find additional information about the object is an important function of the ECDIS. To view the information, put the cursor on the desired object. Push the scroll wheel. Two windows will appear, Objects by Cell and Object. Use the Objects by Cell window to select the desired chart cell and the desired object from which you need information. Select the desired object from the objects in the display priority order list box. The selected object on the chart is shown with a mark. The detailed information is available in the object window. Zone of Confidence CATZOC Electronic Navigational Charts or ENCs do not carry a source diagram, but instead include data fields with information about reliability of objects. The object category of zones of confidence, CATZOC, in an ENC gives an estimate of the reliability of the source data. CATZOC allows a hydrographic authority to encode data against five categories. ZOC A1, A2, B, C, D, with a sixth category U, for which data has not been assessed. The chart legend provides the information about the zone of confidence on the chart currently displayed. Presentation Library the ECDIS uses the official IHO Presentation Library to draw vector charts. The Presentation Library can be accessed using Chart Menu. Marine Information Overlays To activate the Radar Overlay, put the cursor on the Mode Selector. Spin the scroll wheel to select either ECDIS and Radar Radar over chart or radar video only in the status bar and then push the left mouse button. If ECDIS and radar is selected, 
The radar echo image is mixed into the chart so that some chart features lie above or beneath the radar image with S57 charts. If you use the ARCS charts, the radar image is drawn on top of the chart. If radar over chart is selected, radar echo image is drawn on top of the chart. If radar video only is selected, only the radar echo image is drawn on the screen and chart does not appear. When you change the chart scale, the scale of the radar overlay is automatically changed. The maximum range of the radar overlay is 24 nautical miles. Single operator action to remove marine information overlays or MIOs from display. To remove the radar overlay from display, put the cursor on the mode selector. Spin the scroll wheel to select Ectus only in the status bar and then click the left mouse button. In this mode, only the chart is displayed on the Ectus. Single operator action for standard display setting. All Ectus sets have a single button which will bring up the standard display. You can recall the standard display at any time using a single action. This is done by pressing the SDD DSP key, which is the standard display key on the control unit RCU018 or from the chart menu. Mariner's Notes Notes is a notebook data file that provides messages for the operator relative to a specific ship position in the monitoring mode. The ECDIS compares notes, range and your ship's position and displays notes when your ship goes within the range set for the notes. You can create and modify notes and this can be done in the planning mode to create new notes. 1. Click Notes in the Information Area. Then click the Plan button to show the Plan Notes dialog box. Click the triangle mark and select Create from the menu. 2. Enter a name for the notes. Three, check Enable Changes in the Edit Record page of the Plan Notes dialog box. Put the cursor on the location desired for notes and then push the left mouse button. To show the text message on the screen, enter the desired message in the description window and save the text typed. Spin the scroll wheel to select character and then press the scroll wheel to confirm. To view notes, click Notes in the information area, then click the Plan or Monitor button as appropriate. If no notes is selected, the notes menu appears in addition to the monitor notes dialog box or plan notes dialog box. Clicking select adds notes to use, monitor or planning mode. Clicking unselect removes notes from active use. Please remember that if you want notes to be displayed on the electronic chart, make sure that notes options are turned on in the Mariner page of the symbol display dialog box. Past track. The tracking page controls past tracks and some other features. 
Open the main menu and select Symbol Display. Check the tab system to plot own ship's tracks using system fed position. You can also plot own ship's past track with position fed from the primary sensor as well as secondary sensor. You can select the length of ship's past track as well as target's past positions. Electronic bearing line and variable range marker. Navigation marks consist of two sets of reference points. Electronic bearing line or EBL and variable range marker or VRM and four parallel index lines. Two sets of these marks are provided on the nav marks dialog box. The EBL and VRM in relation to the reference point can be turned on and off as required. The range rings which circumscribe the reference point can also be turned on or off. The info tab can be used in case the numerical information for VRM, EBL and reference point is to be viewed. The EBL and VRM can also be turned on or off from the keyboard directly in case the functionality is available in the control unit. Parallel Index Lines Parallel index lines are useful for keeping a constant distance between own ship and a target ship or a coastline when navigating. Controls for the parallel index lines are in the NavMarks dialog box. Open the parallel index page to adjust the parallel index lines. There are four sets of parallel indexes for use. Each set has six parallel lines and their distances can be varied. The parameters can be entered as shown in the video. Chapter 4 Route Planning Loading existing route plan There are two phases for a route. Route Plan and Route Monitor Route Plan is used for planning the route and Route Monitor is used to control a route for monitoring. The step-by-step -step procedure for selecting an existing route is Click Route in the Information Area and then click the Plan button to open the Plan Route dialog box. Here you can select unselect or create a route. If it is not shown, that is, a route has already been selected, you can show it by placing the cursor on the triangle in the Plan Route dialog box. Changing Waypoint Positions Latitude and Longitude Available alternatives to change position of a waypoint are Enter latitude and longitude on the waypoint page in the plan route dialog box. Enter distance and direction for next waypoint. And drag and drop waypoint using the left mouse button. The step-by-step -step procedure for entering latitude and longitude in position field is Click route in the information area. Then click the plan button to open the plan route dialog box. Click the waypoint tab to open the waypoint page and check enable changes and then select desired waypoint. Put the cursor in the latitude or longitude field as appropriate. Spin the scroll wheel to set coordinates and then push the scroll wheel to confirm. Changing waypoint positions, distance and direction. 
the step-by-step -step procedure for entering distance and direction for next waypoint is click route in the information area then click the plan button to open the plan route dialog box click the WPT tab to open the waypoint page check enable changes and then highlight number of waypoint with the cursor and click the adjust after button and enter direction and distance in respective box in the next waypoint field changing waypoint positions drag and drop the step-by-step -step procedure for dragging and dropping waypoint using the left mouse button is click route in the information area then click the plan button to open the plan route dialog box click the WPT tab to open the waypoint page check enable changes and then Put the cursor on the waypoint you want to process. Press and hold down the left mouse button while rolling the trackball to move the cursor to a desired position. Keep the button pressed down while you move the cursor and release it when the cursor is at the desired position. And drag and drop waypoint to next waypoint position. Initiating new route plan. Waypoints can be added by putting the cursor on the required position on the chart and clicking, or putting the latitude and longitude of positions in a text box. Waypoints can be deleted from the text box or from the chart. The Ectis automatically joins up the waypoints to construct the route. The step-by-step -step procedure for initiating a new route plan is click route in the information area click the plan button to open the plan route dialog box put the cursor on the triangle in the dialog box to show the route plan menu select create and enter a name for the route Check Enable Changes in the Plan Route dialog box. Select Position of a Waypoint by placing the cursor on the location desired. After entering a waypoint, edit the name, steering mode, radius channel limit, safety margin and speed as appropriate in the plan route dialog box. Do this for all waypoints of your route. Alerts page can be used to define safety contour and other specified conditions for checking the route. Click Indication to get a visual indication, Alarm to get the audio alarm, or Ignore.